Hello aspirants, today we will discuss two economic terms which is important for our prelims and those two terms are very similar to each other but they are different. So one term is inflation indexed bonds and the other term is inflation premium. First of all we will discuss what is inflation premium. Now we will discuss from an example point of view. Suppose you are investing in a bond at a particular interest rate. For example, the fixed interest rate is 8%. Now, when you are investing today in a particular bond at a particular interest rate, so today there is also an inflation rate. Now, after one year or two years, if the inflation rate increases, so when the inflation rate increases, but you have a fixed interest rate, you will get your returns at a fixed interest rate, but after one year or a two year, the inflation rate has increased. So it means the purchasing power has also increased. So it makes no sense. So what happens is here when you are investing and you expect that there will be a inflation rise or rise in inflation further or even one year or after two years or three years depending on your knowledge. So if there is a expected rise in inflation, so you demand a particular premium from whom? From the lender. So when you demand a particular premium above that interest rates for suppose it was an 8% interest rate now because of expected rise in inflation you are demanding 2% more. So that 2% extra is called as the inflation premium. Now coming to the second term mm. that is inflation indexed bonds. So you should not get confused between these two terms. Now inflation indexed bonds are those bonds which are already linked with inflation. It means those bonds are already linked with a particular index, for example, consumer price index, that is CPI. So when the interest rates, uh, when the inflation rates increases, so automatically the interest rate will also get accustomed to the inflation. So there is a difference between inflation indexed bonds and inflation premium. Thank you.